Okay, now things are just now completely catawampus. I haven't been able to find Lady Lux anywhere. I've been buying. So normally, you know, I go in, I'll take one Lady Lux. Maybe I'll take two Lady Lux. Sometimes four. Back in the day, I used to buy out the whole place, but I've gotten it under control now. But now Lady Lux, where are they? Where'd they go? I can't find them anywhere. It ain't right. So now I walk into a place, I don't know what to buy. Should I buy this one? Should I buy that one? Maybe this one. How about this one here? I don't know. I don't know. I have a devil on one shoulder and an angel on the other. And one's like, buy this one, buy that one, buy this one, buy that one. I don't know what to do. So I buy them all. It's now crazy town. I don't know what to do. I just don't know what to do. I shall buy more tickets. <laughs> oh, I should be so lucky. Thank you for calling Oregon's Gambling Helpline. May I have your first name? Frank. Hi, Frank. How are you? I'm okay. How are you doing? Good. I, um, do you want to speak to a gambling counselor? Please. Okay, I'm going to ask you to hold on one second while I connect you, okay? Thank you. Hello? Hello? Hi, this is Diane with the Helpline. Hi, Diane. Uh, my name's Frank. Frank Barish. Uh-huh. I didn't wake you, did I? I thought this was a 24-hour line. Oh, it's a 24-hour line. Yes, it is. Okay. Yeah. Are you calling because you're having problems with gambling? I, I, I am. I'm having a big problem. Uh-huh. Should I just tell you about it? Is it something that you... Well... well is it something that you're trying to stop? Well, well here, here's the problem. I've been... Back on July 4th, I won $500 with the Lady Luck Scratchers. And, uh, well, I've been buying uh -huh. them, I've been buying them ever since, and, you know, couple, maybe a couple hundred dollars a week, sometimes, sometimes only a hundred dollars a week. Um, so here's my problem. Um, see, I, I kind of got it under control where I'd, I'd limit how many Lady Lux I'd buy, but then they stopped carrying them, and then no one's got Lady Luck tickets anymore. They have crossword aces and lucky dragons and cash is king but no more so now instead of getting up there and going okay just give me two lady lux i don't know what to buy because there's so many different kinds so uh, do you know when they're bringing the lady lux back no because uh, i don't that's really that's not what we do we uh, don't we don't deal with any kind of that. Do you want? Do you want? Do you want treatment? Do you, you want interested in getting some treatment to stop gambling? Well, I, I, I just don't know how. I mean, I, I really thought I was going to win the big money with the Lady Lux, and now they're not around. So I don't know if I want to live in Oregon anymore. Okay. So Frank, uh, this is not what we do. Okay. So this is about us giving you uh, information for treatment. Are you interested in that or not? Um. No, I just no. I guess I just want to know why why there are no more Lady Lux, but you don't you don't have that kind of information. No, I don't. Okay, no. well, thank you anyway. Okay, Frank. Okay. Look at this here, six plus two. If that was six plus one. If that equaled seven, seventy-five grand, my friend, seventy-five thousand dollars, which I almost almost got, but didn't. How are you doing? Don't have any more of the Lady Luck scratchers? No, it's gone. It's all done? Do they cancel it or? No, they put the new game already. It's uh, gone already. Lady Luck five dollar one? Yeah. No more, huh? When the somebody win a big one, they 
Oh, really? Is that what yeah, it is? When it somebody game. wins, they the they pull. Issue a new game. Yeah. Did they pull? They made you give they back. Pull it. Yeah. They made you give back the tickets. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. You know what? I don't want to live in Oregon anymore. You want to go ahead and get rid of Lady Lux? And you think I'm going to stick around? There's two reasons I'm in Oregon. The fresh air and the Lady Lux. And you know what? If you don't have the Lady Lux, I can do without the fresh air. <laughs> Forget you guys. I'm leaving. I'm going to Cali. Yes. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to California. With an aching in my heart. Time to leave this silly state. Go back to Cali. I'm going back to Cali. 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 I'm going back to Cali. You know what? I think so. So now I gotta sell this RV. Because, you know, it's time to go. So I guess the question is now, how honest of an ad do I put in Craigslist? I mean, obviously I have to tell them that there's... That the regular lights are dead. See how dead they are? That the only light is the... Do, 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 strobe effect. It's actually not a strobe effect in real life. When I look at it, I don't see them strobe, but the camera picks it up. But yeah, it's just Christmas lights. It's my only light. <laughs> when it's dark outside, that's my only light. So I got to say that. Got to tell them that there's no hot water. Got to tell them that there's that the only regular water comes in by a hose into the sink. Uh, obviously got to tell them that the engine's blown. But it's got a fridge that works <laughs> and a comfortable place to sit. And sleep. That's where I sit and sleep. It's nice and comfy. You should sit and sleep there. You should buy this and live here. That's what you should do. <laughs> you should. So that's basically what the ad's going to say. But the question is, do I tell them... <sighs> do I tell them about the bed bugs? So I think the bed bugs are pretty much done. I had a war. I had a war with bed bugs that lasted about a year. And I was victorious. There was a point last summer where there were like 20 or 30 bed bugs a day that I would kill. And I fought them day after day and that number dwindled. And now, once or twice a week, I'd feel them bite me and then I'd go looking for them. And then I'd take a piece of scotch tape and I'd stick them and I'd squeeze them. And I'd throw them in the trash. I used to kill them. I used to pop them. And it went, oh, that's what you get for biting me and drinking my blood. But I don't do that anymore. I decided... Who am I to murder these creatures that are just trying to live? So what I do now is I take them and I put them in the tape and I, and I ensconce them in the tape. Like Han Solo in the Carbonite. <laughs> I used to squeeze them and pop them and then they're dead. You know, they can live six months between uh, blood meals. Maybe in six months they'll still be in the tape. I can't get out. And they'll starve to death. That might be their fate. But they might, they have six months. They might slowly pull the tape away and walk their way out of the tape. And then, boom, they're in a dump somewhere. And they're like, oh, my God, I have to walk all the way back to find people. And maybe they will, or maybe they'll die walking through the dump. I don't know. It's not up to me to kill them. It's up to me to put them in tape and throw them in the trash. That's how I beat them one by one by one. Some people give a quart of blood at the blood bank. I give about a quart of blood a month this summer when the bed bugs were feasting on me. But they're gone now. It's been weeks since I've seen one. So do I put it in the ad? Oh, there used to be bed bugs, so don't buy this? Well, maybe I do. Maybe I say, hey, there used to be bed bugs, but I beat them. That's what I could say. I don't know. How honest do I want to be in this ad? Because I do want to sell it, because it's time to go. Making a wine smoothie. <laughs> you heard me right. You heard me right. It's a wine smoothie. Half a bottle of wine. A little bit of pineapple juice. Half of an orange. Got a banana in there. And I'm only just getting started. I'm going to put some mango. Some strawberries. Some honey. I'm going to blend it up. And it's going to be delicious. It's a wine smoothie. How could it not be delicious? <laughs> wine smoothie. You know you're gonna be delicious, oh yeah. Wine smoothie, you know you're gonna be good. Yeah, yeah, wine smoothie. Some organic raw honey. Can't have a wine smoothie without a little bit of sweetness. Come on, honey. Yeah, that's, that's right. How could it not be delicious? It being a wine smoothie and all. 
You're just mad that you didn't think of it first. It's time to blend this. Yeah, I'm blending a wine smoothie. Do you have a problem with that? I didn't think so. Why don't you get in my glass, wine smoothie? Oh, that is delicious. Oh, that's everything a wine smoothie ought to be. Oh, that is a phenomenal wine smoothie. Hmm. I don't know if I invented wine smoothies, but I certainly perfected them. <laughs> I sure did. Delicious wine smoothie. Delicious wine smoothie. Martha's going to help me fix her. It's time to start your repairs, darling. Are you ready? <sighs> I have some work to do. I did it in watercolor during a really, really hot summer in an unair conditioned apartment in San Diego, and uh, it just shredded. By the time I could get to the store to buy a sealant, to put over it, an incredible amount of the paint had already flaked away. So now I'm going to fix it. It's my masterpiece. I can't just abandon her. Why would I do that? So I'm using paper to cover up all the parts of the painting that I'm going to protect. So I can spray paint outer space and then hand paint the repairs on her. First I got to cover her up. The spray paint goes everywhere. That's why. I was just going to go to a hardware store and buy some painter's tape. I'm so glad I didn't. This Martha Stewart tape, it's spectacular. I'm able to manipulate this. I'm able to cover her in curves. I'm able to curve the tape to protect the parts I want protected. Thank you, Martha. Thank you, Ms. Stewart. Martha Stewart Crafts. They make good things, enjoy them. <laughs> yeah. So she's all covered up. I just went and got some spray paint. Now it's time to fix her up. And now let's just hope it dries before it rains. Apparently everyone's an art critic these days. Alright, so the moon is drying, the glow-in-the-dark stars are drying, and it's still sunny, so that's a good sign. Rain clouds are still at bay. Would you look at my dirty thumb? It's dirty. My thumb's all dirty. What about it? My plane leaves in like 72 hours, so I got a lot of work to do. <laughs> really should have put this off to the last minute. Good job, buddy. I had to move it real quick. Got a little bit of wet. Started raining. Right in the middle of a sunstorm, it starts raining. You see all that rain? All right. Where's the rainbow? Where's the rainbow for crying out loud? How can we have all this rain and no rainbow? Am I in the rainbow? Wait, it's raining and it's sunny. And there's no rainbow anywhere. You know, that can only mean, that can only mean one thing, you know. I'm in the rainbow. The rainbow is all around me. I don't mean that in a gay way. Not that there's anything wrong with that. You'd expect to see a rainbow when it's sunny and raining. Usually there's a rainbow. Where'd the rainbow go? Where is it? Where's that rainbow? Well, now, this is interesting, don't you think? I think it is. What do you think? It's raining, it's sunny, and there's no rainbow. It's a little weird. What if that means that I'm at the end of the rainbow? What if I'm in the pot of gold? <laughs> what about that? In order to be gone Monday? Um, well, I I'm still trying to figure out how to get it out of here. No one's bought it yet. So, um... It's got to be gone because I've got it rented out. Okay, well, I don't have the money to tow it, so if... 
Well, you can call BNR. I don't have any money. I they will come and pick it up. Oh, they will. Okay. Call BNR. BNR is that the one down on? It's auto wrecking. South? BNR auto okay. wrecking. They'll make you a deal on it. Okay. If they'll come pick. That's what I was hoping is that one some some place would just come get it because I literally my hours got cut at work. I've got I'm going to LA with like 200 bucks. I understand that. So if they if they'll pick it up, that's great. Now we'll just get. But it's got to be gone by Monday. I to but come I don't want it left here for me to deal with. No, I, I like I said, I was hoping someone it, if BNR will pick it up, that'll take care of it. Because I literally, I, I had pl my original plan, I thought I was going to be working up until the end, and I was just going to get my uh, renew my uh, AAA membership, and then just have them tow it to a, a junkyard. But I get two hundred bucks left. I can't even. So if BNR will pick it up, and no one buys it, then that I'll make well, sure it's gone. Well, call BNR and check with. Well, okay. okay. Thank you. Well, some got some spillage on the moon, but for the most part, a lot of work to do, baby. At least I have the land part done. I've started painting. <laughs> Have to be on a plane in like 48 hours. I got a lot of work to do. She is a mess. I had the idea that I was going to spray some of the glow in the dark paint and mix it with my colored paint. It was a great idea, except I didn't count on the fumes. I've just done one color. I'm not even done, and I'm dizzy. Glow in the dark's cool and all, but I don't know if it's worth passing out over. So I'm going to scratch the rest of my tickets. Who knows? Maybe I'll get lucky. Let's see, shall we? See if I'm a winner, eh? Crossword aces, not a winner. Three's a charm, not a winner. The dragon, are you ready for the dragon? Let's see here, dragon. The dragon won me five dollars. Cost me five, and it won me five. Me and the dragon just broke even. What about this one? Helps if I hold it the correct way. $3 spade ticket. It's not a racial thing. It's just called spades because of the card game. Don't get all upset. Didn't win on that one. But there's another. Maybe this one will be the big winner. That one didn't win either. Bank blast. Could be the one. Could be my lucky day. Nope. All that's left are two caches kings. Let's see if I'm a winner. So close. So darn close. My, my lucky number is 35. But if it was 36, I would win $75,000. But I didn't. One left. This could be my last Oregon lottery ticket. Wouldn't it be great if this one was the winner? Let's see. Nope. So I shall go to California. What do you think of that? Well, unfortunately, I didn't get her done in time. I got this part painted, and this part painted, and this part painted. I still have to fix the moon. But I'm out of time. What's so amazing about this piece is that even though I painted it, I didn't create it. Just in a huff one day, I scribbled a bunch of stuff, and let's see. There's an eye crying. That eye with this nose faces that way. With this nose faces that way. With this nose, it's a whole face with that as the mouth. But if this is the head, then this is the body, and the legs rising up from the earth 
the rainbow and her soul rising up. And let's see, she was a very large breasted woman. There's her breasts. She died of cancer, bald. There's her looking this way, kind of, you can see she's looking with her eye, but also like this is like sunglasses of a face heading, heading that way. There's so much to this and I didn't plan any of it. I just scribbled a bunch of stuff and then I started painting it this way and then I looked and I saw all of these things. Now I'm not a religious person but there's there's got to be a higher power at play here. I didn't how could that happen randomly? How could I scribble a bunch of stuff on an old piece of shelving that I found by the trash and have that many aspects of my soulmate's soul be in it. I mean, look at it. She's, there's the earth. She's floating up into the heavens. There's something bigger at play here. And unfortunately, I didn't get it fixed in time. All these things still need to be repaired. All the places the paint came off. So I'm going to find a neighbor to hold on to it. And hopefully someday I'll be able to come back and get it and fix it and sell it for a million dollars. to someone who can appreciate my art. But I think it's magical. I really do. Because I didn't plan any of that. And look at it all. I mean, look at her. There. Shriveled and small like she was after the cancer, flat chested, but hiding behind the facade of her once plentiful bosom. And then how this eye can be this face and that face and this face. But it's, it's also the body rising up, her legs. I mean, it's just the most miraculous thing I've ever been a part of. How you doing? Good. So, uh, be, you. Good. So BNR should be here any minute to pick it up. Okay. No, All right. actually they're not. I'm, <laughs> uh, they won't come get it. All right. And he gave me a website that didn't work, but I found some other websites. No one would take it. He said he had a guy he was going to have call me. He didn't call me. I don't know what to do. Do you want me to sign it over to you? I, and then you can I don't dispose wanna, of it. I mean, I don't know what to do. I don't. My plane leaves in a couple hours. What can I do? What would you do if you were me? Right now, if you were me, what would you do? I wouldn't have been waiting until this I, last I week. I haven't to been get waiting. Rid. I've been trying to get rid of it. I placed ads on Craigslist. I've told everyone I know. To ask everyone they know. No one wants it. No one will do anything with it. You told me BNR would take it. BNR came out and said we don't take RVs. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm just giving you suggestions. I know, but I mean, he. he uh, I mean, I don't know what else to do. What What do you? I mean, if some, this you've been running this place for a while, what? It's the first time someone's abandoned an RV. Yeah. <laughs> I apologize. Well, the problem is, is it's not worth anything because it don't run. I know. So that's it's really, that's changed how we're going to deal with people in the future, I can guarantee you that. Well, I apologize for that. I don't know what else to... Did I give a security deposit? No. I there was one. I can't remember. No security deposit, but I do need keys for the laundry and the... Uh, I have keys for the RV. Those are the RV keys, and there's the laundry key and the mailbox key. Aren't we a cute couple? Cute. Hey, baby. How you doing, baby? Yeah, she's dead and in the urn. What are you going to do about it? You got a problem with that? Well, I got one of my neighbors to take the painting. I didn't think it was going to be this emotional, but... Well, there's my incentive to get my shit together and get back to Corvallis to pick the piece up and finish restoring it. 
It's a very special piece of art.